Hello reformers and welcome back to War Tile. Now War Tile, since we last visited it, has been updated rather considerably. And I'm going to take you through some of the newer features and some of, some of the revamps that the developers have put in place. So, we now have an item shop. Now the item shop is used with the gold that you get from completing missions and things like that. Obviously because I had a previous save, all of my items have been converted into gold. So I have a pretty large amount of gold right now, as you can see. I've got 10,000. That's pretty good. That will allow me to get quite a few things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a look at some of these things here. Ah, okay, so maybe 10,000 isn't that much because as you can see, the spear here is quite expensive as well as the bow and the shield. So, because I like the spearman, I'm going to buy a spear. Should we buy some other things as well? Okay, so we have to buy those all separately. Okay, so I'm going to buy this. There we go. And we can buy some shoulder pads. We can buy some leg guards. We can buy some arm guards. And we can also, of course, buy battle axe and a basic club. I, I'm actually unsure whether this is going to be an upgrade, but I'm going to, I'm going to buy it anyway. There we go. I'm going to just buy all of these. Do I, do I actually have enough to buy all of these? I think I do. So let me, let me just do that. There we go. All right, so that's great. Now we also have a new class. Yes, the archer is light and nimble. The archer excels at distances and will very quickly perish if caught in close range. The archer requires active use of abilities to start attacking. As you can see here, you can get volley, you can use rain of arrows, and you can also use Flaming Arrow. I'm going to be purchasing her. Thank you very much. And she's going to be joining us. There we go. All right. Otherwise, they have done quite a bit of revamping on the various cards that you can take into battle. Now, as you can see here, I've chosen the cards that I want to use. Of course, you don't necessarily need to use these. You can use anything you like. I mean, I personally think that King's Favor might actually be pretty fun. So maybe I should use... I don't know, should I use that? Yeah, I'm going to use that instead of Poison Jar, and we're going to see how well that goes, because obviously having an additional person on the battle board is going to make a big, big difference. But yeah, there you go. There are the you know small amounts of cards there that we have so far. They actually all are very different. They do all kinds of different things, so I'm going to be interested to see what happens there. Obviously, this is where you buy your new units. This is where you customize the units that you have then you can ha you have three different menus here of course you can choose to which you know you can choose which what what is this now uh, which ability yes there we go you can choose which ability you want to be using here and i think i'm probably going to probably going to use the banner skill actually i think the banner skill is going to be really powerful even though it only lasts for 20 seconds it is going to buff friendly figurines attack and defense so that's pretty nice Otherwise, we still have the same token system here, but it's much better explained, in my opinion. It explains things much better. Anyway, armor token, damage token, attack skill, that basically determines your chance to hit. And your health token, as well as defense tokens as well. So, I'm going to be, I think, probably increasing my armor. I mean, I have how much? I have... 5 armor reduction. Oh, yeah, 5 damage reduction. Okay, that's, pre that's pretty decent, but maybe we want a little bit more than that. So, I'm going to go for a little bit in that. And we're going to go for some more HP as well. There we are. That seems good to me. Now, of course, we do have some items. And I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Are these... Uh, okay, okay. So, these are technically a little bit better than what we had previously. But I'm not entirely sure if I'm actually going to be taking the Viking Warrior into battle in the first place anyway, because I'm not a big fan of his, to be honest. I mean, I much prefer the Brute of the Wolf Clan, for example. I mean, he's just got a really, really nice two-handed axe there. Obviously, I prefer the Spearman as well, so I'm probably going to be using him. And this is a lot better than what he was using beforehand, so as you can see, his stats also reflect that. He's not going to be in combat too much, so I'm probably not going to be giving him too many really good armor pieces because I don't I don't particularly think it's worth it's worth it at the moment. Anyway, we're going to give him the attack skill increase so that he can actually do a little bit more damage here and there. 
And he can also hit things a little bit more as well. That seems good to me. And what about the skill? Well, Spear Wall, I've tried to use that in the past. I'm, I'm not very good at using it. But I think I might like to go for Action Surge instead, personally. So let's go with that. And then, of course, we have the Norse Warrior, which I personally feel is a little bit better than the Viking Warrior. Is that just me? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, well, I think what we're going to do is... Probably do shield wall. And we probably want to go for some armor and some more defense as well. There we go. That seems good to me. Alright. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. And should we give him some armor? We should probably give him a shield. Much better shield. Let's give him the battle axe as well because he's actually, in my opinion, a little bit better than the other guy. So, we're just going to do that. And I'm going to give him some armor. Hmm, should I give him all of the armor pieces? Yeah, maybe. Oh, and then, we, then we're back to this guy. So, yeah, I think I'm probably not going to be taking this guy into battle at all. So, instead, I'm just going to be taking the archer and giving her a couple of things. Actually, do I want to give her these things? Can I, can I not? Oh, apparently I can't take that back anymore. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so she's obviously only level one. So, yeah, she's not going to be extremely good at what she does just yet. But hopefully we'll be able to level her up pretty easily. Okay, so this guy can can he can he can he use anything here? Well, obviously his attack skill is very good, and his damage is really good as well. So I'm just going to be giving him a bunch more accuracy there, if we can. Wait a minute, does that not does that not advance us at all? That doesn't give me any stat increases by the looks of things. Well, that's interesting. Okay, well. I think that's fine. We can also go for Headbutt. I think Headbutt is probably good. Which is his movement, attack, and defense skills. I think that's quite nice. And there you go. Okay. So I think that is it. Alright, so now that we've taken a look at all of the new features, it's about time that we choose a level. So as you can see, there are a number of new ones. And I think we're probably... Are we going to try this one? Tyr is watching. Impress him by defeating the village, defending the village, huh, against at least 20 bandit waves. All right, well, why not? Let's let's try that out. Okay, so place three units here. All right, so I guess we'll take the berserker, and we'll take the archer, and we'll take the tank. That seems good to me. I mean, that's the thing. I'm a bit dubious about the archer's style of doing things because apparently you need to micromanage her a little bit more than the others so that might be pretty difficult this battle board directly engages you into battle with waves of incoming enemy bandits rampaging their way to the Jarl's longhouse defend the village and the longhouse for as long as possible all right okay that shouldn't be too that shouldn't be too bad surely i have a bad feeling about this Alright, so where are they going to be coming from? Well, that's the thing. We need to find that out, don't we? Ah, there they come. Okay. So if we put this guy here and then we start firing away, that would be nice. Oh, they died very quickly. Okay, that was wave one, apparently. Alright. Well, how long do we have to actually survive? Well, 20 waves, apparently. So that's going to be relatively difficult, isn't it? Okay, so what's that? That's an oil bomb. So they've given you basically everything you need to survive and be successful. Your weapon has been sharpened. Your next attack is guaranteed to hit. That's exactly why I wanted to go there. What is the mead? What does the mead do? Let's go over here and actually see. Can I... Ah, there you go. You can actually skip the wave and you can get additional battle points. Well, you cannot skip the wave, but you can, you know, tell the next one to hurry themselves up a little bit. So let's be a little bit cautious here. Gonna fire away. Ooh, lovely damage. Wow, she really does a lot of damage right there. No wonder she is micromanageable because literally being able to do that, that's crazy. That is really, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna earn some more battle points. Yes, give me all those battle points. Okay, so what other items do we have around here that I can use? Seems like not much. That's okay, though. Okay, can you can you fire on that guy? 
There we go, thank you. Yeah, this guy is obviously in the way. Aha, okay, so if I just place those two there and then I can just fire away there. Ah, fantastic, that's good. Aha, okay, I get it, I get it. Obviously, I haven't played for quite some time, so I'm a little bit rusty about the various mechanics here, but we, we seem to be doing okay so far. Let's get some more battle points, thank you very much. We could summon a Viking to help us in battle now as well, if we wanted to. Ah, they're coming from that direction now. What does the mead do? Drink to heal a massive amount of health. Well, we're probably going to need that. Okay, so let's fire away. Yes. Oh, very nice. Okay, I'm going to try and fire away. Ah, no, I can't. I can't fire at that guy yet. Now I can. Yes. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we did pick up the mead. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, no, that seems to be the only thing I can do. Thankfully, we still have this, so I can still use that if I need to. Is there anything else down here? No. Okay. Give me more battle points. They are getting progressively harder, so we need to be very cautious. Okay, whenever they move into range, I'm going to shoot the first one that comes up here. If I can. Yeah. That one. That one. Kill him. Yes. Okay, so now we need to move the archer away. Shoot that guy a little bit. Get that one over there. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice. That's what we like to see. Okay, so hopefully... We can now start firing at that. Gonna get that guy down there to finish it off. Or, or not, as the case may be. Ah, okay, okay. Never mind, okay. I think I was a little bit hasty when I said that we needed to be doing micromanagement a lot. I actually thought that we needed to target the figurines all the time, you know? So, for example, press this all the time over an enemy or something along those lines. But no, no. It's actually not like that at all. Actually, a lot easier. So that is good. That's fantastic. That makes things so much easier for me right now. So that's great. Ah, we got some more mead. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to be using this mead right now. And then we're going to be picking up some more. Thank you very much. So the items do seem to restore themselves after a couple of waves, I guess. Let's pick up the oil bomb. You never know when we may need to use that. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm very interested to see where it goes from here. Ooh, ooh. Okay, yep. This is... Oh, this is not good. I think I'm probably going to use shield wall here. I want to make sure that we survive pretty handily. Going to try and block those guys from attacking our archer if we can. Yeah, kick in the face. That's what you get. Try and get around. There we go. And done. Wow, that was nice. Give me those battle points. I'm not even using any of my abilities. I probably should be using some more, but I don't really need to at the moment. Yes. Yes, you ran to your death very quickly, didn't you? Oh yeah, there we go. That is going very nicely. Wow, everything has been tuned up very, very nicely. The game is acting very, 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 very polished and actually is very enjoyable with the addition of the ranged character. Obviously, it was enjoyable beforehand, but it's, it's even better now, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, we are, I think... Yeah, I think good. Targets of figurine increases fire rate for a couple of seconds. Could probably use that. Ooh, that is... Whoa, that's that's kind of harsh, isn't it? Okay, oh, yeah, that is that is actually very harsh indeed. I'm going to try and stun here, and... I'm going to try and use a volley on this guy if I can. Try and murder that one. Ooh, no! That is not good. I need to move away. There we go. 
Okay, so she's leveled up. That's fantastic. Unfortunately, ah, I do have a heal. There we go. I have a heal for my Berserker. That's great. Probably want to use fire on this guy if we can, but obviously yeah, he's going to be a bit annoying to catch. There we go. Uh, the mead has restored itself. That's fantastic, because we already have mead with our tank. So I'm going to be taking the mead on... Ah, I can't do that. Okay, so then I'm going to use the grinding stone and I'll take the mead. Let's get some more battle points. I'm going to... I'm probably going to summon a viking relatively soon, because I think that we might have a couple of problems in the next waves. Perhaps. There's a chest over there. Kill him. Yes. Oh, wow. Our brute does so much damage. It's crazy. Okay, let's move over here. There we go. They're starting to spawn a huge amount of archers, which I'm not particularly happy about. But, well, we're going to gonna have to deal with it. I'm probably going to have to use Heimdall's Vigil on our Brute. I'm probably going to do that right now after the lightning strike on that Archer. Thank you very much. Fire at him. Yes. I've got the Curse of Old Age again. I'm probably going to use that against this Archer. Thank you very much. Okay. She can just f finish him off, I suppose. go. Nice. Alright, so the Brute is probably going to heal with the Mead now. And the tank as well. Okay, that seems good to me. Okay, another extra three battle points. We have another heal available. We have Lightning and of course we do have that Viking. Probably going to summon the Viking relatively soon. Oh, I'd love to get that chest. Oh, apparently I can't get the chest. Not yet. Not yet. That was easy enough. Give me that. Oh yeah, that was a basic club. Very nice. Can definitely use that. Alright, anything else? Anything else that I need to get? Oh, there's an oil bomb. I, I mean, I could pick that up technically. I'm probably going to pick that up with the with the tank, actually. I mean, we have these things for a reason. Throw out enemies to set them on fire. Can also light certain interactable objects on fire. Okay. Okay, I'm going to throw it at this guy. Take that. He's dancing. He's dancing. Yes. Exactly. Kill him. Yes. There we go. Let's move away. And then we can just fire at this guy a little bit. We can just basically make it so that we're completely safe. Fantastic. Ah, oh, we've got some more meat. Yes. Give me that. Okay, where are they spawning now? Ah, to the left. Somewhat problematic. Perhaps. Ooh, they, ha they have some special abilities as well, by the looks of things. It seems like they're disorienting some of our units here. That's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to use... Am I going to use the mead? Yeah, I'll use the mead. Okay, so let's see. We're on wave 14. We're actually doing pretty well right here. Wave 15 is coming up. Okay, I'm going to try and use volley, I think. Wow. Wow. Okay, the archer is probably officially one of my favorites now, apart from the brute. 
I actually really like the Brute as well. And there's the Mead. That has respawned. Who do we need it on? I guess we need it on the tank more than anyone else. This is going to be a hard enemy, I think. Or not, as the case may be, because apparently the archer is just fantastic. Or not, as the case may be, because the archer just literally got murdered. Wow. I'm actually really surprised. <laughs> that enemy. Wow. Okay, so we're going to have to do it without the archer now. That is that is crazy. Well, obviously, they do say in the description of the archer, don't let the archer go into melee range. Because that's going to cause some problems, and it very, very much did. So I'm not very happy about that. Oh well. Gonna use the oil bomb here. Gonna try and headbutt this guy. This is gonna be much more difficult than I would like now. Okay. Well, it's actually not going too badly. Let's use the heal on the brute here. Alright. So, we have no items. We do have the Curse of Old Age and the Lightning and the King's Favor, so we could technically summon a Viking. I'm probably going to do that, actually. Probably going to summon the Viking right now. There we go. How long does he stay around? Ah, oh, he doesn't stay around for too long. That's not very nice. Oh well. It's good, it's good enough, because he's actually doing a lot of damage. Did you see that? Wow, that was crazy damage. Gonna use lightning on that guy. Take the high ground. Get him, get him down real fast. Come on, Viking. You can do this. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so the mead has come back. So we could technically pick that up again. We can get that oil bomb right next to us, actually. Right, so if I heal this guy, is he actually going to stay alive, or is he just going to continually die? He's probably just going to continually die anyway, so it's not a big deal. going to try and stun this fellow, maybe get a hit on him. There we go. Let's get this guy over here, do a little bit more damage. Take him out. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I can summon another Viking. That's good. Let's get one of those. Flanking action. Oh, unfortunately, I can't do anything here. This guy has some sort of weird armor on that causes us to have some problems. It stuns us or disorients us or something along those lines. Okay, so I have some healing here. Probably going to use it on the tank. We are almost at wave 20. Which is the final wave. Probably going to use Heimdall's Vigil on the Brute. If I can. There we go. Lightning on the big guy. I can summon another Viking to come and help us. Well, that's fantastic. We can literally just use our Vikings as expendable tokens, which is kind of amazing. Okay, so there we go. Let's use that. I, I'm just going to use lightning on that guy. I have enough. I have enough battle points. There we go. So there we go. We're done. Fantastic. I actually really enjoyed that, hilariously enough. I mean, obviously the time where our archer got absolutely murdered, probably not the best. But, well, I think, I think she was absolutely fantastic. She really did. An amazing job helping us. Look at how many units we killed. Just, ah, oh, there's so much debris everywhere. That's crazy. 
Okay, so my final score is reasonable because the battle points that we had were just, wow, just insane. Now, what are these here? Tokens earned on the board. Equip these on units in the unit management menu. Oh, that's fantastic. Cool. And we also get this. This helm. That's a, that's a, new, that's a new helm, isn't it? I think so. Well, there you go. That was a nice, a nice revisiting of War Tile, and uh, yeah, it's it's looking really good. They they're doing a really good job so far, and uh, I'm sure that it is just going to get even better with the addition of more classes. You saw the power of the archer in this, that's for sure. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.